grateful to be here this morning with all of you. Thank you so much for, for joining us this morning. And I love the topic that we're on. What creates an experience of oneness? I'm going to speak from my own experience. So for many years of study about spiritual things, I knew that there was this reality of oneness intellectually. All the great mystics said so. And yet, I know from my own journey that it wasn't until, uh, for me, it, it, it kind of happened in 2014, 2015, I was doing a transformative program uh, to become a spiritual practitioner. And part of that program is uh, you had to practice every day, practice meditation and practice prayer. We had to write prayers all the time. And the very essence of the type of prayer that we uh, practice, affirmative prayer, the first couple of steps were uh, acknowledging that God is all there is. There is only one power. There is only one love. There is only one presence. It's everywhere. And the second step to those prayers was that I am one with it. I am one with this eternal power, this presence that is everywhere and yet right here and now where I am. It is expressing through me. It is expressing as me. And when I prayed for someone else, I would do that step. And I said, and just as this is true for me, it's true for them. I know this truth for myself. Therefore, I know this truth for them that God is right where they are. And you can imagine over time of saying such a prayer that through speaking those words from a place of surrender, from a place of um, emotional connection, that over time, the knowing of oneness was revealed in me. That's how it worked. It's like over time, I really began to understand that I was truly one with the divine. And through continued practice, continued prayer, meditation, and being of service, tuning in to the divine within me and the divine within others, the divine within all things, there is this experience that I've come to know and, and have of being in constant contact with the field. And what I know is that it does require something from me. It requires me to turn, turn, turn. <laughs> requires me to turn to it. It requires me to set aside any self-activity of the mind and simply be present and aware is the I am, the God being that I am. And one of the interesting things that I've noticed that happens because, it, you know, you would think that once you experience oneness, that it's, that it's just, that's the experience. But what I know is that it continues to, to grow and to expand. And, and one of the beautiful ways that I experience oneness is with people who are on the same path, the path of knowing, the path of experiencing, the path of ascension, to be with kindred spirits, to be with soul family about the same thing, turning all at once, turning to some, that, that one presence, that one power, when we do it together, when we when we sing together, when we create together, um, I recognize that we think together without speaking. I love that uh, we brought in the sound of silence today. And those words just hit me so profo profoundly because that is this experience that I continue to deepen in is like to be together even when we're not in the same physical proximity, to be together and uh, not have to speak, but to know, 
anybody else had that experience? Do you, you do you understand what I'm talking about? Have you had the experience of 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 maybe thinking a thought, thinking about someone and whatever it is that you're thinking about that that they respond, they may text you, call you, email you, um reach out to you because that is this reality that I'm becoming more and more um experienced in and i think we all are in some ways so for me the first step was knowing that i am one with the divine presence that i'm loved by this power this presence the creator that made us all and then in my own service just experiencing this with 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 the people i'm with so that's what I, I wanted to speak of this morning of just my own experience and on what creates an experience of oneness. I think it is about turning, turning to the infinite creator and turning to love, turning to each other.